we did cover this last week. Um, we're not allowed to elbow people in the face, as far as my knowledge of UK law goes. <laughs> not allowed to elbow people in the face. Um, in the realms of practice. <laughs> so, we have to split it up. Don't we? We talk about class. We have technique and we have power. Okay? We've applied the power, that's why we have to focus on it, that's why we have to hit fuels. And now we're applying the technique. So, not just necessarily the trajectory, but how high it is, but now we have to look at where does it actually go. Okay? If we cover all those things and we cover as many of the jigsaw pieces as possible, to understand our martial arts work. Like I said, the ideal would be we'd have a, a bunch of willing volunteers. Well, I can't imagine many people will sign up. So, <laughs> so, but we're not going to do it the old fashioned way where Scott stands there and I go bang like this. It's a little bit fanciful. It's, it's, it's good on a basic level just to practice, yeah, I grab the head and I elbow. But I think you're better than that. So, we're going to practice. Um, one example for most of the elbows where we use it in the midst of something, okay? It's not a go-to, it's within an exercise, okay? So we've got Ag MP, Mawashi MP, Yoka MP, and Yushiro MP. We're not going to practice the Toshi MP, we'll do that another time, that's it. That's it. So Ag MP, okay? So this is what we did last week, so we, we'll do some with clinch, so we, we did a drill. We did a drill where I'm trying to get the advantage by so taking this arm. Scott doesn't like it. He's going to strip this hand. I'm going to lean back in with the elbow. Okay. So because he's grabbed my wrist, there is some leverage that I can sink the elbow up there. Okay. If you grab my elbow, it's a little, a little more difficult. But if you grab my wrist, because he's not very happy about how high up I'm grabbing. My skull. So I've got a little bit of leverage to stick that ag MP in. Okay? Now this the only way this will work is if I'm connected to it. Okay? I can't do it like that. I have to know exactly where Scott is. If I know where Scott's elbow is, I know where his chin is. That sounds like a really weird thing to say. But if I'm connected to Scott in any one way, if I close my eyes and put my hand on his shoulder. That, that gives me enough information that I know that his head's about there. Yeah? Or if I, I've got his shoulder there, I've got a pretty good idea that that's where his groin is. You, you follow me? So if I've got something, it helps me with it, it helps me with the other one. Okay? So we're here. So again, make this part of the drill. So we're here, I'm trying to gain the advantage, so sort I of slip, slip the arm through. Take the arm, okay? He's not happy about it, he strips that arm. Practice it. Please, please don't actually elbow them. And the other thing is, if you're going to do this, don't elbow them in the sternum because you'll miss the chin, okay? So make sure that that drives straight, like you would an uppercut. Like the uppercut, don't if, 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 up towards the chin. The, 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 the chin. I've never said this before. The chin is like a like a like a mezzanine. It sort of comes out from the body, but like a balcony. So we'll try and make sure that you go up and clip it underneath it. Okay? So very, very small. Yeah, I'll make a point of that actually. Yeah, Beth. This is not a this is not a systematic um, Resolution. System resolution. So what I'm saying is, I'll use similar English. So what I mean is, if he if he grabs my grabs my, my my forearm or my wrist to pull it away, you know, I'm more holding this my window. Unless I have unless I have to pull away and then plan B. My intention is to get to there. I have to find the right window to do it. Okay, so if he's, if he's grabbed, well, if you go my elbow, oh, pull it down, it's not going to work. It's not even another plan. So this, this again, this is why you get an scenario where I'm not going to be able to do an agate MP if I haven't got the room or the leverage to do it. Right? 
which I think a bit more teachers think could 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 do better. Because they go, oh, I'm trying to demonstrate this, it's not working, or oh, it doesn't work. And he's grabbed my elbow, and I can't do an idea any more than that's not a good application. You don't do something else. So we're assuming that I want his head, I want the base of the skull. He's trying to compromise that. So I got that bit. So there's a very, very small window for me for me to do this, which involves a little bit of self-sacrifice. I have to let go to, to put that in. Okay? So practice it formally, but bear that in mind. Bear in mind that there, that there is a window there. Especially if you're in this range, it's all about windows. It's all about Oh, I had a pop nose got. That's fine, that's, that's just comes with practice. Okay, so be quite sprightly about it. 